Hi, this is David Mabros Media. I'm here with amazing character actor Richard Brake. How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. Yeah. How are you enjoying the con? Uh, yeah, having a great time. That's it's great. a great bunch of people, and the people that run it are, you know, really cool, and they've got it very organized. And it's nice because it's a smaller con, yeah. so uh, you know you get to spend more time with people. Because some of them can be so big, you feel like you're just rushing people through. But yeah. on this one, it's nice we've been able to. Jeff and I have been able to sit around chatting with different people. Yeah. It's nice. And you've and you've been in so much stuff, so everyone's probably like you know really happy, and excited to see you and talk about all your your works, your body of work and stuff. So I understand that you studied the the science of acting. You want to elaborate on that and how that differs to like. The actor studio? Uh, well, that would take, um, for me to elaborate on it, it would probably take about <laughs> eight episodes of your show. Okay. Um, it's uh, Science of Acting is, um, it's, uh, it was basically a school and a technique founded by a, a teacher named Sam Kogan, Russian, studied at the Moscow Arts Theater, which is where Stanislavski and, and all of that came from. So it's basically similar. But he took it in his own direction, and uh, I've studied a lot of different places. But um, when I found Sam 30 years ago, whenever it was, um, you know, something clicked, and uh, I used a lot of what I learned from him, and a lot of what I picked up over the years as well. But um, yeah, it's uh, it'd be hard to to, to elaborate on other than to say it's uh, you know it's a Stanislavski-based system, but um, it works for me. Yeah, I think it's how you, I like to call, how you became what I like to call like a methodical chameleon because you just, you just kind of disappear into all these different roles and it's just like, it's just amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Your techniques. Well, a friend of mine um, who also studied uh, with me, it's with Sam, uh, Eddie Mars and his name is, and he's an amazing character actor, one of the best in the world. And he coined the term pop-up actors. I mean, Eddie's doing a lot of, a lot of stuff now, but... We, we often joked about how we would pop up in something and then get killed or do some badass stuff. <laughs> Here's another pop-up actor. Just pops up in everything. Yeah. Even my interviews. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we pop up, do something bad, and then uh, then get killed usually. <laughs> Can you give us a little bit, tidbits about uh, your movie coming out, Three from Hell? Uh, yeah, I can say that it's going to be can I swear on this? Uh, yeah, go channel? ahead. Yeah, it's going to be want. fucking amazing. Uh, Jeff and I just finished filming it. Can you give us a monologue too? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff and I just. <laughs> All right, I'll do a little Shakespeare for you. Um, yeah, we just finished filming a couple weeks ago, and uh, now it's going through post production. Rob's doing his thing, and uh, it's you know, I can just tell you this is that it's honestly going to be fucking amazing. Oh, we can't wait to see it. We we've had a lot of a uh, lot of uh, Rob's uh, other uh, his other actors he's had in the movies. He's come to they've come to Crypticon, so he's always done good stuff. So we're we're really excited to see that. Um, what has been what do you say has been your greatest accomplishment as an actor? Oh, I mean, it's a lot of done. You know, so many things. It's hard to pick one. Um, obviously, my one of my all time favorites is Thirty One. Um, you know, Rob wrote such an amazing part that uh, you know, I was really honored that he asked me to play it. And I often joke that I didn't have to do much other than just learn the lines and let Rob, you know, put the camera on me because it was so well written. And it was so much fun to do. And I love working with Rob and, and Sherry. And, you know, the opportunity to do it again with Three From Hell was, you know, just fantastic. So to me, that's one of my all time favorite things to do. You know, working with Rob, whether it was 31, Halloween 2, or, uh, or um, you know, recently 3 from Hell. So those are the highlights, you know, big highlights of mine. He seems to keep like a tight-knit family. Like, a lot, he, he keeps using a lot of the same actors. And I'm like, yeah, he does, good, yeah. and he uses a lot of the same crew. And yeah. uh, what he does so well is he inspires everybody to do their best. And that's why I feel like a lot of the best work I've ever done has been with Rob, because I just feel inspired by his own creativity and his imagination. Um, so it inspires me, inspires everyone around him to, to do their best with very little money and very little time. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully it looks cool and people love it. So, yeah. you know, I love working with him. Yeah. Um, this is the last one. Is, uh, have you ever been on set and then um, maybe a director or actor does something 
um, differently than when you're used to, and then you had to kind of like collaborate to get the get the work done. Oh yeah, it happens all the time. Yeah. You know, you might have one idea, especially when you're doing something that's, you know, when like you know when I work with on Rob and I'm doing a large role like Doomhead, you obviously have a lot more time to work with the director and yeah. talk to him and and see what he's trying to do and, and, and bring in what you do. Um, or if you're in a TV series for a while or something, but a lot of times I might have to go do, you know, a couple of days on a big film, and you don't have any idea. You never worked with the director before. You don't, you know, you may have met him once if you're lucky. So you have to just, you know, part of being a good actor is being very versatile and flexible, and being able to maybe have an idea of in your own head of what you want to do, but then when you get there, realize that it doesn't really work with what the director wants, and have to adjust and and do what he needs. Um, but at the same time, obviously, bring what you you know what you can give to it. So that happens. I think that's part of what being a good actor is about. Because to me, being a good actor is being able to uh, be versatile and work under whether you're playing the lead in a movie or whether you're playing two days in the movie. You know, go in there and do your best. Well, it's been a great pleasure sitting down with you. Thank you so much. And this has been David with Mabros Media.